Good morning. Very quick catch up video. Oh my goodness, I'm just taking a break. Um, yeah, went over to see my daughter's cat yesterday. Because Peter, sorry, I've got a glass of water. I'm very hot and bothered. Oh, yeah, went over to see Ruby, my daughter's cat, yesterday. Uh, the idea was be for, for Peter to meet her because he's never seen her. And even though she's had her five years, she's he's never seen her. Um, and they couldn't find her anywhere. We couldn't find her. <laughs> Just couldn't find her. She went, well, because she does have a, she doesn't usually go out, but she had her patio doors wide open. And um, so we was looking in the street, well, in the little clothes they live in, oh, in the three-story house, in all the rooms, and couldn't find her. Anyway, we came home, and later on in the day, she said to me, she's, my, my daughter messaged me, she said she's just walked out. She was behind the fridge. <laughs> so, long story short, I'm getting her tomorrow. I am having her. She's coming here tomorrow. My brother in my brother in law, my son in law is gonna drop her off when he's on the way to taking my um granddaughter dancing. So yeah, she's coming to live tomorrow. And because she's a very nervous cat, she's just going to... I know what she's going to do. If I just let her out the basket, she's just going to run and hide behind the sofa. So I'm preparing my spare room at the moment. That is why I'm hot and bothered, because I've been down on my hands and knees, clearing out, or not clearing out, but trying to organise underneath my crib so she can't get under there. Not that she would be able to squeeze under there. <laughs> But I'm trying to make a bit more space for her and all her things that go with her, like, you know, a scratch post and a, a carrying cage and a litter tray and everything like that. So I'm trying to make a bit more space um, and get rid of some things while I'm at it. Yeah, which includes all my folded up cardboard boxes. Peter said, you're not putting those in my new shed. You can keep two, two boxes. Well, I want to make one, I want to keep one for the cat because you know how cats love boxes, don't they? So if I make, try and make one so it's a little hidey hole for her, you know, so she put a blanket in it and um, probably stick it all down and just leave a little hole for an entrance and uh, so she can go and hide. So until she's a bit more comfortable with us, but it's very quiet here, so, you know, she should be okay. It'll take her a few days, maybe. So, yeah. But if I do the spare room, then she's, I know where she is, she's safe. And she's not going to run out the door if the door's opened or something. Anyway, Sadie wanted to come and say hello. You want to say hello? To all your sisters, you know? No, she's not really bothered. She's tired. Are you tired? Yeah, I went for my x-rays on Wednesday. Oh my goodness, the pain. <sighs> the positions they want to get, you know, you to get into, to have your x-rays. My legs just don't do that anymore. Because, you know, my hips were... I was 10 years ago, I was told I needed double hip replacements, but I was too young. And the way things are now, they're not going to want to do them. So anyway, had my knee x-rayed, very painful. They had me laying on my side with my knee, it's my right knee, so that knee flat, but with the foot up, twisted, turned and on a block. So that pulled that right, you know, and then the hips, when you lay down, they want your feet like that, and your, hip, your 
feet rotated so your toes touch. Agony, absolute agony. Yet yeah, all day, or well, when I came home Wednesday, um, yesterday, and still painful, but not so bad. But it still reminds me I'm taking any tablets yesterday. I'm getting it on for 11 now. Oh, well, I'll take them in a minute. And, um, yeah, not good, but has to be done so they know, you know, what it looks like inside, obviously. She said to me, have you had any x-rays? Have you had any operations on your hips? I said, no. She, she looked at me a bit odd. And when I came out, I said to Pete, I said, I know what that is because... When I was sterilised years ago, one of my clips has migrated around to one of my hips. Yeah, and that's probably what she saw. And she's probably thinking something's been left in. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's all right. They, they, they said, oh, it doesn't cause any problems. But whether that's causing any of my pains or not, I don't know. It might not be helping for the arthritis. You never know. Um... Anything else to tell you? I do not think so. Congratulations, Chris. Chris Cuddles, she won um, Shelby's giveaway of a reborn baby. And Chris was lucky enough to win it. I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch the draw. Um, I couldn't see any of it. So... I did leave a little comment because uh, Shelby had put congratulations, Chris, in a little thing. So I did comment under that, but I haven't been able to watch any videos. Well, some videos, not not any of uh, those videos. I couldn't watch any. So congratulations. I look forward to seeing him when you when he arrives. Um. Suzanne, is it your birthday today or was it yesterday? Oh, do you know, I've got a birthday card for my my brother-in-law out there in the hall and I've got to go out and post it. I can't walk to the post box. I don't know what, it's too far away for my poor, poor knee. <laughs> it's all uphill, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I meant to have asked Pete to take it with him today when he went out, but he forgot, so... Well, he didn't forget because I forgot to ask him. So it was my fault. Uh, yeah, anyway, if it's today, a very happy birthday. But if it isn't today, then a happy birthday for whenever it was. Yeah. Very bad, aren't I? Very bad. I forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Oh. Anyway, I suppose I better get back to it, really. Oh, <sighs> not looking forward to it. You get on the floor, then you've got to get back up again, haven't you? Unless you stay down there all day, I suppose. Um, anyway, have a lovely weekend. Whatever you're doing, how, how long have I got? Or um, I've only done like eight and a half minutes. Well, I'm waffling, aren't I? Uh, looking forward to getting my puss cat tomorrow. Hopefully she'll be out of hiding by Monday and I'll be able to take some, do some videos. Record a video of her. And if I get a short one over the weekend any time, I'll still post it just so you can see what she looks like. Um, yeah. You never know. She might come out of hiding for a little while. Uh, yeah, it's a shame, really. I mean, she's five years old, and she's a very nervy cat. Very nervy. Um, and she just hasn't settled where where they move to. I don't suppose this move's going to do her a lot of good either, but when she gets used to it, it's going to be a lot quieter for her without the kids around. Because my grandchildren, I've, got four, I've told you, haven't I? These, these four, I've got seven grandchildren, but these four that um of my oldest daughters they're all autistic so they're not the quietest of children <laughs> she loves them all dear i mean the the cat loves them she does love the kids but she stays out of the way a lot with them there so 
just comes out occasionally when they've been quiet. So it'll be a lot more quieter here when she gets used to it. Do you know, I've been trying to... Yeah, I'll go off subject, I know. You have to bear with me. I've been trying to find my mother-in-law's grave. Now, we went to her funeral years ago. And it was all... Everything was left to her youngest son to sort out. And there's Peter and his oldest brother from one marriage and a youngest son I don't know why I'm whispering <laughs> a youngest son from the last marriage now the youngest son was a spoiled brat and Peter and his oldest brother have tried really hard with him over the years and um, he's a really not a very nice person anyway everything was left to him Peter and his brother wasn't even oldest brother wasn't even offered so much as a photograph so all the funeral was down to him everything Peter and his brother didn't other brother didn't have anything to do with it at all not for the want of not wanting to but they they just wasn't couldn't do it um wasn't allowed to let's say so we did go to the funeral and we've been up the cemetery since and we cannot find her grave anywhere now, I know there's a lot more graves up there since she was buried, but we just can't find it. So, I found a little memorial booklet thing the other day with her dates on, because I didn't, couldn't find that anywhere. Anyway, we found that. So, I um, sent a message to the office at the crematorium, and they sent me, emailed me back a map, and the number where she she is um so we've got to just go up there now we know where it is we've got to go and find it but it also it's all color coded and it was in yellow and it, when i looked it up it said yellow means there's no memorial headstone there's no headstone now his brother was supposed to have sorted all that there was money for there for the order that and it was Anyway, so now I've got to buy a little thing um, for when we go up and find her, just to mark her grave, you know, put something on there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Beggar's belief, really, doesn't it? After she gone, we saw, uh, as I say, it's a few years ago now, we saw on Facebook Marketplace... He'd put all her clothes on there for sale. Her coats. My girl said, that's Nan's coat. Oh, my God. Yeah, anyway. I go off track. Um. So, I've got all that to go and find. it. All, all the math and everything else. So, I'll wait. I'll, I'll send off a little thing off of eBay. You could have them engraved and things. Not eBay. We can get them on eBay, but not on eBay. On Amazon. Little, uh, well, they do hearts and crosses and all sorts with, you know, dates and things you put on. So I'll go and do that later today. Pete doesn't even want to choose that. He said, no, it's morbid. I can't choose it. You choose one. And then we go and do it. So I've got to do that. But... Before then, I'm back into my spare room now. If I can get in the door. <laughs> I'm going to put this one back in her crib. And I think I'll put the others in the crib as well and cover them all over uh, with a big blanket. A big quilt thing. And uh, so the cat doesn't get in with them tomorrow. Right. Have a lovely weekend and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye. Have fun. Stay safe.